A great deal of information itself is transformational. To merely hear certain things already resolves the problem. It's not going to rain today. That takes care of that one right there, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> one word he just got eliminated, you know what I mean? So, certain information itself is transformational because it's so powerful. And if you calibrate the level of certain pieces of information, you'll see why they are so powerful. Everything now occurs, uh, we could start with a paradigm of context and content. It's crucially important to understand that mm, what the ego mm, experiences is content. And what enlightenment is concerned with is context. That God is the ultimate infinite context. And that all that all of existence is then content. All that exists is content. And nothing comes into existence except for context. Therefore, God is the source of all existence. All that exists arises solely as a specific creation of God. You know? We spoke about that when we were differentiating uh, evolution from creation. That contrary uh, to the ego's thought that causality works like a series of billiard balls, on the contrary, every single moment, because of creation, all that exists, its existence is because it is simultaneously and at every moment being created by God. So God doesn't hit ball A and then, and then go through all the next 14 balls until it comes out at the end, which is the traditional idea of the evolution of, of evolution. On the contrary, each and every movement of each and every ball is an individual creation of God. God creates this, God creates this, this God creates this, God creates this, God creates this. So, that the Creator is continuously present. So that all that is happening is a continuous creation, which seems to be sequential because it's perceived sequentially. But perception is not causality. 